So I'm here once again with Jay King after another nice Boston Celtics win. They take down the Oklahoma City Thunder 100-85. to And Jay, Marcus Smart, really, really impressive game tonight. Uh, what stood out to you about his performance? Well, you know, you always expect the defense. And obviously this was a different type of challenge with Russell Westbrook. And he was great on Westbrook. But what really stood out was the offense. You know, he, he scored a few times in the post. He was making plays off the bounce. He hit some pull-up jumpers. I mean, this was... A, a, a career high, and B, the most complete offensive performance I think he's ever had as far as scoring the basketball goes. He he was great, and he really kept them in the game when they weren't playing well, and then his teammates kind of took over for a stretch at the end of the third quarter and early fourth to propel them to the victory. Yeah, and I mean, it was pretty interesting, you know, he's... He, obviously, he's so big and strong, and uh, Russell Westbrook is also uh, very big and strong. Um, and afterwards, somebody uh, asked Westbrook, you know, about the way that Smart matches up to him and, you know, kind of suggested that they might match up physically, something that uh, Russ did not seem to appreciate too much. Uh, what would you think of uh, Westbrook's comments about Smart? Yeah, do not tell Russell Westbrook that someone matches up physically against him because <laughs> he will not agree. <laughs> um, I don't think he meant to put down smart. I think he was just trying to remind the reporter that he is a different type of physical specimen, and he is. And he was like, yeah, the smart was good. I do it 82 times a year. It's like, come on, man, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so uh, he wasn't necessarily wrong. He really does do what smart did 82 times a year. So you can't blame him for his response. There was classic Russell Westbrook, always has a chip on his shoulder, will never give anyone credit. So, I mean, I don't think he meant to put down Smart at all. But Smart made him work, and he clearly, clearly is on Westbrook's radar now. Like, that, that next matchup between the two teams is, should, could be fun to watch. It really could. Uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, Westbrook has a point. You know, he's he's so unbelievably good every single night. And it just brings it every single night, and he's so athletic. Nobody nobody matches up with him. He, he's a blur on, on the basketball court. And, I mean, you're, I, think, I think you're right. Just, you know, reading the comments and, and just kind of knowing the way that Westbrook is, it does kind of seem, and especially the way that he can be with the media, it does kind of seem like he just did not appreciate the question too much. Um, the Celtics... Really nice night defensively. Obviously, they you know they made Westbrook work. They made the Thunder work. Um, what did you see from the defense that stood out to you? And, and can this kind of keep going as as the Celtics keep can continue to look for wins? Yeah, obviously, you know they didn't have Kevin Durant, which clearly you know hurt, hurts any offense, including the Thunder. But they, that's not ideal. <laughs> they still have plenty of scoring, and they still have Westbrook, who's as tough to stop as anybody is. They still had Serge Ibaka out there draining jumpers, um, and Oklahoma City shot 25.6% in the second half. It was just lockdown defense. Jared Sullinger was owning the defensive glass against a team that, that crushes offensive rebounds. Um, so just such a good sign. The Celtics right now, through nine games, are fourth in defensive rating overall. They have an elite defense. This is no fluke. They're stopping. They've stopped the Hawks. They've stopped now the Thunder. They limited the Spurs. Like they, they are. They haven't played a bad group of offenses so far, and they're still number four in the league. Their defense is top notch, and it really carried them to that second half stretch. And then when Bradley started hitting shots, when Thomas started hitting shots, they pulled away. And by the time Russell Westbrook got back in the game, there was nothing he could do. Boston was already too far ahead. 